What's going on guys, it's Nono just checking in and today I'm gonna to bring you a lighthearted video, a little part of a series I call on this channel, The Time I dot dot dot. It's where I just basically share a story from my life that I think is amusing, uh, uh, telling of my character, well not necessarily always in the best way, but the point is it mixes shit up. This channel gets really serious, it's a serious channel in general. Um, we talk about some real stuff, but this is a chance just to get to know me better, to lighten the load, hopefully amuse you guys a little bit, and just mix things up. So if you're interested in that, please stick around. If not, I hope there's another video on the channel that can be of some use to you. Today, we are going to talk about the time I faked a broken neck. Oh, this was a great story. I have way too many boy who cried wolf stories. I wish I didn't, but I, I really do. I gotta, I gotta work on that. I digress, excuse me. The time I faked a broken neck takes us back to third grade. I was in a private school called the International School in downtown Portland, Oregon. Uh, I've always had a flair for the dramatic. You know, I, I love seeking attention um, a lot more so when I was a kid and I try to do it in a more healthy way as an adult, but I have a YouTube channel, so what does that tell you, right? Anyway, after school, and I missed one of the monkey bars. I was going, instead of going for one, I had to go skip one and, and go for the second one. But I got these dinky little arms. Well, they're not that little, but they're short arms, that's for sure. And I missed, I missed, and I, I mean, my fingers gri gripped a little bit, but my legs kicked up and I just face down, ass up. That's the way I like to, I'm just kidding. But I hit the ground hard and I knocked the wind out of myself. And I did like a couple quick instant reactionary rolls and then I just laid there, just screaming and crying. I was in a lot of pain. It actually, I still remember how bad that shit hurt. It was bad, it was a bad fall, awkward. And it looked really awkward when I landed. So the daycare person, teacher, supervisor, whatever, adult, they saw me fall. Clearly this after school employee didn't know me well. And for whatever reason, what he, I don't remember if it's a he or she, details. What he or she decided to ask me is, can you feel your legs? Was, can you feel your legs? Nope, <laughs> I just answered. I just answered and said, no. I didn't even hesitate. I was in third grade, how old that put me? Like eight, right? Eight, eight or nine. I said, I, eight, it was must have been eight. So I said, no, you can imagine, Whoop, whoop, that's the sound of the police. Whoop, whoop. I mean, they called the police. They called the ambulance. They called the fire truck. They all sort of came off the same call. Point is, the cavalry rode in. They cleared off the field for me. I'm laying there playing it off, being such a dramatic little fuck. I'm just like, oh, oh, you know, like, like, so, actually, I don't know if I was shaking. They probably would have known. Point is, I was holding really still, I suppose, but I was, I was selling it, uh, moaning, making little noises. They were saying stuff like, stay with me, Noah, stay with me. Again, they cleared off the field. Everyone showed up. Uh, they load me up onto a, what's it, gurney? A little flat board, whatever. Stabilize my neck. And they're starting to ask me questions. Now, my little conniving mind's like, I better not answer any of these questions. I'm gonna out myself. I swear to God, I was thinking about it at the time. Uh, they call my dad and they say, we think Noah has broken his neck. Come quick, I guess they're like this. Come quick, we're really, really worried. And my dad, he knows me so well, he goes, do not put him on that ambulance. My dad's a doctor, right? Plus he's just my dad, he understands me. He's like, I will be there in 10 minutes. Don't put him on the ambulance. Well, protocol would instruct them to do otherwise. So my dad pulls up as I'm rolling out with the lights blaring. Paramedic in the ambulance is asking me questions, but I'm not answering that fool because again, the less I say, the better. I don't even know what I've gotten myself into. I don't think I realized it was gonna get this bad this far, but I was faking a broken neck. I have no effing clue what possessed me to say yes when she asked me that. So they ride me to the hospital, they immediately put me in for scans and imaging, x-rays to figure out where the break is, if there's a break. I mean, they were really taking this very seriously and, and I fell sort of on my neck and back and so they thought that's what was actually going on. <sighs> that's the face I'm looking for. Really, little Noah, past Noah. You're crazy, you're crazy little mofo. Um, so, you know, I'm laying in my hospital bed. My dad finally arrives. He's like 15 minutes behind. He finally arrives to the hospital. And I want, I want you guys to just give my dad props for how easy this was for him. He walks in, he knows me so well. He knows my triggers and what excites me. He goes, hey son. I'm laying there. Hey dad, what's up? 
Oh, I'm real sorry you hurt yourself. Yeah, they think I might have broke my neck. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see that. I see that. It's a, it's a real shame. Yeah, I know. I love you, Dad. Thanks for being here. Selling it like a, like like I was going for an Oscar. And he, he all he has to say, you know, it's a real shame that you broke your neck. It's a big pizza party at the school tonight, and I was really excited to take you. Whoop! I sit up. Pizza party? And he literally just smiles and goes flat. Like, turned it off. And I was like, oh, you know, I think I'm starting to feel better. <laughs> just like that. The nurse in the room, a jaw just dropped. Just... My dad turns around, walks out of the hospital, calls my mom to come pick me up. He's so upset. He's so upset. Because guess who's footing that bill for that ambulance ride with the lights blaring? Him. <laughs> so all he had to do was bring up pizza and leave it to the big no-no to crumble and buckle because I love my eating now and I loved my eating back then. I got that chunky boy mentality. <laughs> and my mom comes and gets me and uh, and I'm suddenly better. Oh, I'm acting like I'm a little stiff, but everyone knows I'm a fucking faker. And, uh, and I had no clue just how bad it was what I had done. So the last little caveat to this story is that as a form of um, punishment, let's say, my mom decides to take me to the school for that pizza party. Now, mind you, I've got the whole staff worried. They think I just broke my neck. They really do. And um, I ask if I can wear the gown. I think I'm going to be a hero, celebrated. I'm okay. And I think that's all they're going to think about. I'm just so ignorant. I love it. Looking back, it's hilarious. So I wear my gown in there. And I walk in and I smile. Hey, everyone. Everyone, one teacher starts crying because, you know, they've known me since I was a baby and uh, are very little. And the other one just gets all quiet and they aren't relieved to see me. They're upset. They, I mean, they were relieved I was okay. But when they saw me grinning and smiling and say, I'm okay, you know, acting like it, they should be celebrating, like they should come in and just throw me on their shoulders. Oh man, it disgusted them and it made them so disappointed and they were just so angry that I put them through that that they asked me to leave the pizza party. They straight up said, we're glad you're okay. You need to leave though. You need to go home. And my mom knew that's what was coming and I uh, said, come on. And then, I, you know, I got in trouble. I think I got grounded and uh, amongst other things. They disciplined me as much as they could possibly discipline an eight-year-old. Um, and, you know, I don't think I understood the magnitude of that that sort of lie, but I definitely felt it at the rest of that year. Teachers and fucking faculty didn't cut me any slack, you know. They were really hard on me after that, which I deserved. Um, that was a shitty thing I did, but it's, it made for a pretty funny story. To this day, I still get my parents still give me shit for that because, I mean, fuck, I'm giving myself shit for it. It's pretty funny, and I hope I hope you guys uh, find that story interesting, amusing, entertaining. I think it's funny as shit. Um, and that's the story about how I faked a broken neck. We'll do another, the time I dot, 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 when the time feels right. That was not, I'm not trying to make a play on that word. Hope everyone's doing well. Again, I really do hope you enjoyed the story. Please let me know what's the craziest stunt you ever pulled as a kid. You know, what's the craziest thing you put your parents through um, in terms of just lying and being ridiculous like I was. I'm really excited to read the comments on this one. I hope they're good. I hope that that was a nice little pause of your day. Like I done said, we'll do another video soon. Take good care and thanks for your time. Uh, thanks for watching. And, um, oh, man, you know, maybe I did break my neck. It's starting to feel pretty stiff again.